and welcome back everyone to the Viking Weekend channel. I am your host and mighty chieftain Salty Viking. I hope you're all having a great day today. And in this video we're going to be continuing with our playthrough of Pokemon Violet. Now in the last video we have officially arrived here in Kitakami uh, on, our school, on our school trip. And uh, we also met a couple of the local troublemakers, Carmine and Kieran. Mostly Carmine who just haven't who's just going through teenage angst right now. Uh, but anyway, we are here, and, that, and then we're, right now we're going to get some sleep, because in the, uh, the next, tomorrow, we are going to be do, beginning our school project. So uh, before we go any further, as always, like, comment, subscribe, smash the bell to be kept up to date when future videos drop. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers, so join the raid and welcome to the village. And is that a chingling decoration? It looks like flowers and a couple carrots and a, some leaves. Okay, so, yeah, the, all right. So we're going to go to our room. We're going to call it a night. Yep. Get ourselves healed up. At least the load screens on this game isn't as bad as Street Fighter VI. <laughs> Morning, everyone. Did you sleep well? Starting today, you'll be joined by our two students from Blueberry Academy. Oh, it's you two. Go on, kids. Time to introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Carmine. It's a pleasure to meet all you outsiders, I mean visitors from Paldea, hee <laughs> hee. Oh god, you are not fooling me, sweetie. I I'm Kieran. Carmine and Kieran actually grew up here, so ask them for help if you need anything. And you two had better be of real help, you hear me? Aye aye. R right. Now that's uh, now that that's settled, why don't I tell you a bit about what we have planned for you? This school trip of yours will be an exercise in orienteering. First, we will have you split into pairs. Then each pair will be asked to will be tasked with finding three signboards located around the land of Kitakami. On each signboard, you'll find snippets of an old folktale passed down here in Kitakami. Read them all and learn a bit about our home. To prove you've completed the task, we ask that each pair take a snapshot together in front of these signboards with their phone or camera. Take a phone photo together in front of each of the three signboards to complete your mission. It's a self-guided tour of Kitakami. Learn all about its rich history. Much more fun than sitting around and listening to me ramble on and on, eh? Wonderful. What an innovative idea for a group activity. Oh, and I've got a gift for each of you as well. You obtained the Roto Stick. Oh, great. We got a selfie stick. You put the Roto Stick in your bag's key items pocket. A stick to rest the Rotom phone on and allows you to take selfies from a little bit farther away than you could on your own. Press the X button while in selfie mode to use your roto stick. The roto stick adds some extra distance between you and the camera, making it easier to take photos with your friends and Pokemon. I hear these things are all the rage in the big cities. Use them when you take these photo those photos. I'll even teach you a rad pose I came up with all on my own. You learn the, the Eureka emote from the caretaker. Ah yes, real rad. <clears throat> Remember that one of the goals of this trip is to deepen the ties between our two schools. It seems like having someone who knows the area well would be a big help. That being said, let's try to maximize the number of inter-school pairs, okay? Time to mingle! Oh, why are you two looking at me? I don't want to deal with you two! 
Talk to the kids from the other school. I don't want to. She's already a pain in the ass. You're Halbert or whatever, right? Well, it's Halbert. Get it? Let me guess. You want to pair up with one of us poor, lonely, blueberry students. I don't want to pair up with you. I think he'd probably be a better fit with me. No, not really. Wait, but you're the one who came to talk to us. What are you, some kind of weirdo? Oh yeah, so my little brother here has been all googly-eyed over you since yesterday. He wouldn't stop talking about you, even at home. I seriously couldn't get him to shut up. Sis, what? What are you telling him that for, dummy? Hey, watch who you call dummy if you know it's good for you. Oh, man. Look at him being all shy. See, my brother's no good at talking to people. He'd probably never work up the nerve to ask you himself, but he'd really like a battle with you. All right, I'll do. I'll battle him. Well, what do you know? It turns out you're sort of nice. This will make my brother really happy. Not that you seem concerned about it. Chin up, Kiki. Halbert says he'll battle you. What? W Wowzers, really? You don't mind? He doesn't mind a bit. Get to your positions, you two. Everybody else, clear out and make some space. I, I got this. I swear that hairstyle makes him look like he has a mustache, like a Mario mustache. Here we go. See what I mean? You are challenged by Pokemon trainer Kieran. Centric. Wowzers, I can't believe this. I get to battle you. This is awesome. Don't take this personal, but... Gigaton Hammer! Bam! Opposing Sentrance fa fainted. Pokemon Trainer Kieran is about to send out Yamma. Will you switch your Pokemon? Yes, I will. Let's bring out Sarah Ledge. Go, Sarah Ledge! And Fire Blast! Boom! Oof, <laughs> I guess I got a lot of weaknesses. Look at the caretaker, he's just cheering on over there. And that's that. Wowzers. Good show! Nicely done, kids. Nothing like a friendly battle to get to know someone. W Wowzers, you sure are strong, Halbert. You really aren't half bad. Kiki's nearly as strong as I am, you know. I don't know about that. Disorienteering thing. We're supposed to group up in pairs, right? You should go ahead and pair up with Kiki, then. What? No, sis. Don't. Don't. What? It's not like we can pair up. Or were you hoping to partner with some other rando, out, rando outsider instead of Halbert? Well... No, but... Aw, oh, man. Don't worry, he's just being shy. I think it's because you're overbearing. I'll go find some chump to pair up with, too. Watch out for my little bro, you. Like you give a damn. Looks like you've all paired up. Let's go ahead and mark where you'll be going on these rodent phones of yours. Now then, off you go to do some exploring. Oh, and if you find yourself in need of any potions or Pokeballs or the like, head on over that away and stop by Peachy's. 
they'd be happy to set you set you to rights. Um, so it looks like we should probably start with the signboard at Loyalty Plaza. That's out past the apple orchards on the the west side of the village. It's close by, and I figured it might um make sense to you know visit them all in order. I'll probably just get in your way so if I stick too close. So I'll just follow you from a safe distance. All right. So, switching between maps, press the L button or R button while the, while the map app is open to switch between the different maps. Flying taxis will take you to any location with a feather mark, even if your destination is in another region. Oh, cool. All right. So, we need to go over here. So looks like we're going to take this main road, and then we're going to hang a right at the fork. Okay. I'm probably, I'm not going to do a whole lot of uh, Pokemon battles, but... Oh, hello. Hang on. Before I talk to you... Let's go grab this Pokeball on the back side of the house here. Carbos. Okay. Let's talk to this person here. You look interesting. Whoa, where'd you come from? I didn't even notice you there, and damn, she's cute. Anyway, you are? Wait, no, don't say a thing. I want to guess first. You're one of the students who came here from the Paldea region on a school trip. How'd you know? <laughs> it's a small town, you know. News tends to spread pretty quickly. The name's Perrin, by the way. I'm a traveler with a bit of a thing for photography. This here's my bud, Growlithe. Doesn't the little horn on its head make it the cutest? Growlithe! Hey, this might sound a bit weird, but would it be alright if I took your photo? Sure. Just like that, huh? Are you always this open with total strangers? Kind of worried about you, kiddo. Well, how can I say no to a, to a pretty face like you? Anyway, let me snap that photo. You've got a unique vibe, you know. I like it. It's a bit different than what I'm used to. Really? You want to discuss it more over coffee? I'm going to be making this town my home base for a little while. Why don't you focus on wrapping up whatever you've got going on for now? Come see me after, I don't know, registering 150 Pokemon in the Kitakami Pokedex or something. Alright, so let's take a look at that... that uh... Okay, so we got 64. A lot of them because we caught them in the Paldea region already. And we've seen 106. Alright. And then I'm just gonna roll this way here. Sorry, I'm just getting rid of all the, uh, the exclamation marks on... Yeah, we've got 241 so far, out of, and we've seen 382. There we go. Yeah, not too far getting him to evolve. Alright. Alright, so we'll come back to you later. Oh, let's get you Bell Sprout, and we'll just throw a 
quick balls for 603 quick balls. Damn. I've loaded up. <laughs> Click! Clicky! Gotcha, Bellsprout was caught. Alright, your Pokedex has been updated, so that should be 64, I think. Alright, it plants its feet deep underground to rehydrate itself. While doing so, it's unable to run away if it's attacked. Yeah, that could be a problem. Bellsprout. And there's a... Uh, Centret. Click again. Centred. If it encounters a foe, it'll stand up on its tail, making itself look bigger than usual to intimidate them. Alright. There we go. So when you're out here in the... Oh, dude, go away. Oh, wow, really? Oh, there's a... And there's an Ekans behind me, and there's also a... Uh, TM behind us as well. Let's go run over here. Ekans! And boom! Alright, so let's go get that TM now that we've caught. A very common sight in grasslands and such. It flicks its tongue in and out to sense danger in its surroundings. Alright, we got Ekans. Grab that? No. There we go. Tart apple. Yeah, I'm really, like I said, I'm really not going to be focusing too much on uh, battling trainers right now. And I want to see if I can find one because. Uh, so it's. Uh, Hmm. Did I see one? No. Okay. Oh, 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 there it is. So take a look at that tree right there behind me. See that? Oh, no. So we're going to grab that. It's going to fall off, and it's going to become an applin. And with... So we're going to catch him as well, because we... 
Because as you all know, Applin now has three evolutions. Boom, there we go. Alrighty. Applin loses the side of an apple. When Applin is separated from its apple, its body loses moisture and the Pokemon grows weak. All right, so we're going to head on up. I don't think that there's a whole lot left that I really need to do. Other than get, you know, probably get distracted by items or something. Like that one over there. And the TM over here. Yeah, we need so we need to pretty much go up here. Do I have you? Yes, I do. Okay. Just do this. Oh, I didn't take him down. Okay. All right, fine. Wild well, Surly has energy drains. Scarly fainted. All right. That's done. And there's another... Uh... Pikachu! To the Wistful Fields, to Loyalty Plaza. So we want to go this way. Ice Heal, and this guy seems important. Rotom Phone Apps. Hey, I'm a traveling app developer. I see you've got a Rotom phone. Here, let me add a snazzy new feature for you. You, Your Rotom phone has been upgraded. The upper and lower frames of compatible apps can be set to match the design of the phone case you have on the Rotom phone. Give it a whirl with different Rotom phone cases to try a new look. Ooh! Mm-hmm. Technology really is incredible. Alright, so we are here in Loyalty Plaza. And that is the first signboard we need to go to. That's the first signboard. So, sorry, did I startle you? I, I didn't mention that I'd hang back. I, I did mention that I'd hang back and follow you here. We're supposed to read the signboard, right? Yeah. Oh, I already know the whole story, so go ahead. You should check it out. Long, long ago, there was a fearsome ogre in the land of Kitakami. The ogre made his home in the mountain behind the village, frightening all who ventured there. One day, the ogre came down from the mountain in a terrible rage, causing great fear in the village. By some stroke of, stroke of luck, Okie Dogie, Monkey Dory, and Pheasantipity all happened to be there as well. The three Pokemon laid down their lives to fend off the ogre and send it back to the mountain. In admiration, the people of the village bestowed upon this brave trio the title, The Loyal Three. Their remains were given a proper burial, and the statues of the three were erected above the site. The Loyal Three monument is right over there. But don't you think the ogre in that folktale sounds kind of cool? You think? 
Come on, it was all alone. The battle was three against one, but the ogre still managed to hold its own. That's way cool. Uh, I, I guess, you, you know, interpretation here, but I think context, I think that there, this is missing context. Oh, but I guess most people would just think an ogre like that is scary, huh? I don't think there's any reason to be afraid. Well, you let me know how that goes when you meet an ogre, okay? Because, you know, ogres have layers, like onions, right? When I was little, I went up into the mountain so many times a night, all on my own. And I never once met that ogre. Only scary thing that happened was the grown-ups giving me a real earful about it. Um, so yeah, we're supposed to take a photo in front of the signboard, right? I don't have a smartphone. Could you? There we go. I'll take a picture. That turned out great. You're even good at taking photos. You want to try? Oh, no, I didn't mean... M maybe next time. You know, I didn't want to have to come do this whole school trip thing, but, well, it might actually be kind of fun. I get to be out in nature around my hometown and talk to you, Halbert. Hey, if you want, maybe we could set up a picnic. Would you like a sandwich? Oh, uh, you said the magic word. Yeah, well, what is that thing? Some kind of kaiju or something? A kaiju? This is Maridon. It's called Maridon? And you ride on it, huh? I've never seen a Pokemon like this. And it seriously comes out whenever it hears the word sandwich? Yep, and it angers the hell out of a guy named Arvin. You you should meet him. Ah, yes! Never thought I'd actually get to meet such an awesome Pokemon. No wonder you're so strong, Halbert. You're... You're special. So the next... Er, we should go find the next signboard. It's on the grounds of Kitakami Hall. Um, Kitakami Hall is... Well, first double back to town from here and then there's a bridge you cross. And from there, you'll need to climb up the mountainside. I'll hang back for now and meet you there later. Ah, uh, yeah? Yep, I agree. Odd fellow, isn't he? Alright, come on back now. Okay, so let's go take a look at Looky over here. At this little monument here. Oops. Uh, hang on, I hit the... Okay. Loyal 3 Monument. Long ago, these three courageous Pokemon protected Masui Town from destruction. They defeated the ogre that had come to attack the village at the cost of their own lives. Their remains were laid to rest with the people's respect below these very statues. Okay. Alright, so we're going to head back this way. There's nothing else really that can be done here in Loyalty Plaza. All right, we'll take the shortcut down. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think with this, it, it became, you know... It, I don't know what it is with this... Uh, this being glitchy and all. 
Hopefully they plan on doing uh, a patch update uh, pretty soon. Because I hope this is not an issue that we have to deal with when um, the Indigo Disc comes out. Knowing our luck, it probably will be. Hey, 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 hey. There we go, sweet apple. Oh, get away from me, you. Alright, so we just got to double back and head the other way now. Alright. Lady O'Neir, Mr. Billy. Oh my dear, Mr. Billy and Lady O'Neir. Where in the world are they now? Where in the world are you? Lady O'Neir said something about a place with a view of the beautiful, bountiful fields of the countryside. But where is that? Uh, good question. I'll, maybe I'll help you out later. I don't know. Oh, there's Carmine. Let's do this, outsider. I mean, a uh, totally ordinary guy. Oh my god, what? That woman... I, I swear. I'll go back and get those later. I don't want to spend too long being over distracted. And hey, what's in that truck over here? Amnesia. Alright, let's head back this way. And wait a minute. What the hell? What is Mr. Jock doing here? Well, let me go grab this and then I'll find out what the heck. He was talking about, oh, uh, you know. Oh my god, what are you doing here, dude? I thought you said you couldn't come. Oh, hello, hello, Halbert. Enjoying that school trip, are you? Why are you... <laughs> I came to check on how you're doing. I am your homeroom teacher, after all. Once I got here, I decided to do a bit of research on the Pokemon of Kitakami and... Oh, that's right. Sorry. I got so engrossed in my own research that I for actually forgot, about, forgot to come find you, didn't I? I hate you. Well, how about I make up for it by treating you to a picnic? I thought something like this might happen, so I borrowed all the usual picnic things from Director Clavel. Uh, does Director Clavel know about this? Dig in. I hope you like the sandwich I made. It may um, look a bit strange, but I can assure you it tastes great. I don't get out much, so this kind of field work sure wears me out quick. I can't believe how you kids run all over the place for your treasure hunt. You're really something. Oh, could there be something in my basket? Feast your eyes on that. A Pokemon egg appeared in the basket. Quite the mystery, isn't it? I only brought Gulp into this picnic with me, and yet... Did you put the egg in the basket? <laughs> I can't get anything past you, can I, Halbert? No. You know about the Pokemon eggs you find during picnics, right? Whenever a trainer doesn't have the means to care for an egg they find, they can have it sent to the academy where we'll take care of it. But then I thought, say, wouldn't it be better to have a great trainer raise the Pokemon instead? So I brought this egg with me. And now it's yours, Halbert. Well, I guess we have an egg. You were entrusted with the Pokemon egg. 
I know it's odd of me to come all the way to keep Kami just to hand over a Pokemon egg, but I knew it'd be safe with you, Halbert. Excuse me. That reminds me, are you still using your Pokedex app over here too? You should be able to fill the Kitakami Pokedex by catching Pokemon that live around here. I'll be doing field work in the area for a while, so let me know if you manage to complete the Kitakami Pokedex in your app. Again, I hate you. <laughs> APOM! Alright. Quick ball time. And I already have Cricketon, I believe. Apom was caught. Alright. Apom, its tail moves with greater dexterity than its hands, making it deft use of this tail. Apom lives high among the treetops. Nope, we'll send him to the box. Speaking of which, I need to take that egg out, too. Bam! Okay, so before we do that, let's go into our boxes. I will put away... Tinkaton right now. There we go. Yeah, I think I think I already have you. Yep, I do. Heavy slam. There's Heracross, which we've already caught. I believe I've already caught because... Oh, that's a Starly. We already got you. Is that Spinarak on the... Uh, yep, it is. Uh, let's get back on the road here. Alright, Cherry Berry. Calcium. Hey, Vulpix! Literally almost ran right by it. Shame on me. Quick ball. Click. Gotcha, Vulpix was caught. Vulpix. As its body grows larger, its six warm tails become more beautiful with a more luxurious coat of fur. Okay. And I got Burn Heal. There's a palm, we got him. It Dude. Alright, fine. Iron Head. Last resort. But it failed. This won't. Boom! Oh, really? Bulldoze. Fling. But it had nothing to fling at me. Yeah. 
And that's what you get for trying to fight a tank. Good job. Sea dive! Yeah, they need to fix that. Boom! Click! Gotcha, C dot was caught. All right. C dot. C dot lives in trees hanging from the branches and leaching moisture. Rows of them can be found dangling from large young trees. Grab this. Got you guys already. And there's Kitakami Hall there. Oh, there's a dude with a pic uh, picnic bath. Let's take a break. Are you hungry? I can share with you if you'd like. You got a variety of ingredients. Why, thank you, good sir. Tofu, rice, wasabi. Eating a nice sandwich outdoors in Kitakami really is something special. How are you feeling? You can take a rest if you like. Sure. That really does... Three do, really does make co company. Come by again whenever you want. Nice heal. All right, nothing over here, except that. Big Buzz. Kitakami Hall. Oh, there's a Pokeball over here. Ooh, I can't wait. And Snorlax. <laughs> Let's get the Pokeball over here. Wow, that is a beautiful view. Alright, we're gonna head up here. And, hey, there's the caretaker. Welcome to Kitakami Hall. We're glad to have you relax, have you here. Relax and enjoy yourself. All right, is there anything? Oops, so we just hop over here, grab that. Hop again. And go over here, grab this. I can't run up the, the roof there? Darn. Up. Oh. And looks like our egg's hatching. That was pretty quick. Chimchar! Chimchar hatch from the egg. Okay, so we now have a Chimchar. We'll grab this and then we'll engage with the board there. Oh, there's a TM over here behind the building. Oops. There we go. Helping hand. Alright. That's the second signboard. Bit tricky to find, huh? 
sorry, I'm falling at a distance, so I, I hope you can get used to me showing up like this. Now then, let's read the sign. The ogre possessed four mysterious glimmering masks. It is said that depending on the mask the ogre donned, the powers of its cudgel would change. When wearing the teal mask, it could bring life back into withered greenery around it. When wearing the crimson mask, it can turn a candle's flame into a raging inferno. When wearing the blue mask, it can stop the very flow of, ri of a river. When wearing the ashen gray mask, it could easily break the hardest stone in two. Before the loyal three fell, they wrested away three of the ogre's masks, greatly weakening it. Did you read it? The masks the loyal three stole are kept over at Kitakami Hall. Everyone in town is scared of the ogre, but me, I really like it. You seem to know, well, you know more about this legend than I do, so gotta keep an open mind here. It was strong and cool, and it didn't even care when everyone shunned it. I've always wanted to be like that ever since I was a kid. I want to be as cool as the ogre. My sis sort of ends up doing everything for me, even when we're at school. I, I want to try to get stronger. So I can do things for myself, you know. Well, first thing you need to do is stand up your damn sister. Because I think she does things more for herself than she does for you. I'm going to become someone people can rely on. Then, just maybe, I can be that ogre's friend. Oh, um, right. Picture. We're supposed to take a picture. You can take the next one, too, if you don't mind, Halbert. There we go. See, you're starting to open up. You... All right. Whew, I knew it was, uh, it was the right call to let you handle it, Halbert. Now, on to the next signboard. Oh, and you know the mountain the story say the ogre lives on? It's actually Oni Mountain. You can climb it from the steps over there. If you wanted, we can go see the ogre's home. Folks call it the Dreaded Den. Sure, I want to see it. Y yes, I really want you to see it for yourself, Albert. So, if you keep climbing up, you'll reach the Infernal Pass. There's a sign before that. If you turn at the sign, you can get to the dreaded den. So, so I'll just head on up then. Come along when you're ready and be careful. Alrighty, so we're going to head up into the into Oni Mountain. So we're gonna go visit the Dread Den, but first things first. I'm gonna grab this over here. Antidote. Can never have too many of those. Alright, I'm gonna head up this way here. Okay, I'll just go grab Dune Sparse. As if I don't see enough of those in Paldea. Oh, more Pico! Alright. Two, three, click, got him. Gotcha, more Pico was caught. Oh, shoot! Chimchar learned Ember. I probably should not have put Chimchar out in the front. Holy crap! Chimchar wants to learn to move Fury Swipes. Yes, we'll do that. We'll get rid of Leer. One, two, and boom. Move, learn Flame Wheel. I'll get rid of Taunt. Alright, 
More Pico. It has a small stomach. If it is, if it isn't constantly eating the seeds it keeps in its pockets, it'll get hungry immediately. And Chimchar is going to evolve. That didn't take long. Congratulations, your Chimchar evolved into Monferno. Monferno wants to learn the move Mock Punch. Yes, we will forget a move. We will forget Fury Swipes. Okay, so let's adjust this. There we go. And I saw oh, TM over here and over here. Oh my gosh, there's like so much. I keep forgetting there's so much stuff on the ground it's not even funny. And I should be going up to the him dreaded den, but I keep did I already catch you? Yes, I did. Healing wish, but it failed. Oh, come on! Boom! There we go. Alright, let's head. We got more Pico already, so I don't need to worry about that. There's the TM. Oh, I didn't even see him! Dragon Pulse? Really? Gotcha! There we go. Oni Mountain. Oni's Maw. Jesus, there's so many items, it's not even funny. Geodude! Let's catch you. Geodude, Geodude. There we go. Click. Geodude was caught. Yeah, we're definitely raking in the Pokemon now. Geodude's data has been updated. Most people may not notice, but a closer look should reveal that there are many Geodude around. Yeah, you'll notice when it grabs you by the ankle. Hey, 
Hey, there's a conkledor up here. We'll go grab him. Well, no, that's a timber. I'm sorry. Click. Ugh. Timber sweat. Timber. It fights by swinging a piece of lumber around. It is close to evolving when it can handle heavy lumber without difficulty. No, nope, we're gonna keep them right now. Oni's Maw. Okay, we're back in here again. And there was a... TM, yep. And don't need you guys. Rare bone. Throw me a freaking bone here. Full heal. Okay, so we're gonna go around this way here. And... Let's see here. Oh, there's the sign. To the infernal paths of the dread den, danger do not enter. Okay, so we want to go up here. Oni's mob. I will grab this. There's just a lot of stuff on the ground. Flamethrower. there. Yep, there's Kieran. Halbert, did you have trouble getting across that narrow path? There it is, the dreaded den. This is supposed to be the ogre's home. At least, that's what everyone says. I come here all the time, but I've never seen it. Maybe a powerful ogre like that would only show up if it heard some kind of battle going on. Oh, yeah, I think I've gotten a bit stronger since the last time we battled. So, you know, if you wanted to, could we battle? Sure, let's do it. Alright, though, uh, we should heal up our teams first. Oh, uh, you're so considerate. I'll give it all I got. I, I got this. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Kieran. This time I'll put up a good fight. I will we'll see. Force Palm. But 
That was just one attack. Oh man, it did so much damage. Yep. About to send out Polywell. We'll keep uh, Iron Hands in the battle here. And we're gonna drop the thunder on him. Oh, thank you. You just guaranteed that I'm gonna knock you out this and in one shot. Boom! Yeah, boom, baby. Uh, no, we're not gonna learn faint. Yanma, so we're gonna switch. We'll bring out Sarah Ledge. Um, Bitter Blade. You defeated Pokemon Trainer Kieran. Oh man, I lost. I knew it. You really are strong, Halbert. How am I ever going to be able to beat you? If the Ogre saw that battle, I'm sure he'd be thinking that kid's got real strength. See, my school, Blueberry Academy, it's a school that specializes in teaching the art of Pokemon battling. If I was as strong as you, maybe I could aim to be the best trainer there. Let's go have a look at the Ogre's Den. Oh? Wonder who that could be. Watch your head. Yeah, it's pretty small. See how dark it is in here? And cramped? Even the floor is all rough and uneven. Living all alone in a place like this would get pretty miserable, don't you think? Poor ogre. We have plenty of room in our house. It would have totally, I would have totally let it stay with us. When can I move in? I don't know if we'd have room for the both of you, Halbert. But if the ogre really did show up to stay at our place, I'm sure the whole town would freak. Probably. Whoa, no way. The sun's already gone down. I guess I'll have to save the last signboard for tomorrow. Oh, I almost forgot. Today's the first day of the Festival of Mask over at Kitakami Hall. If this big event were ever, where everyone puts on masks and run around celebrating. I mean, it's not like you've got to go or anything, but if you wanted to, you know, check it out. Well, it'd be fun. It does sound fun. I, um, I can show you to it. It'd be great to go together. There's just a few things we have to get ready first, so we should swing by my house before heading to the festival. We live in the northwest corner of the village. It's, um, let's see, I could maybe draw a map. Or, oh, your rotom phone has a map in it, huh? You want me to register it on your map? Yeah, I could give that a try. It's right there. Wowzer, it surely is handy having a map that shows you everything right there on in your phone. I'm going to ask if I can get a Rotom phone someday, too. I'll be right behind you. If you want to head to my family's place first, see you there. Okay. So... 
I'm gonna take the, the quick way down. So we're actually gonna end the video right here at the community center. So in the next video, we are going to be getting ready for the festival. And we'll do that in the next video. So we're going to heal our Pokemon real quick. There we go. Iron Hands and the rest of your team should be all better now. Come back whenever you need. Alright, so again, as I said, we're going to call it a video here. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Smash the bell to be kept up to date when future videos drop. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so join the raid and welcome to the village. And with that being said, this is your mighty chieftain, Salty Viking, reminding you to live brave and free, fight tooth and nail, and you all have a glorious Viking weekend. And I will catch you in the next episode later. Oh!